Well, welcome to a cold and blustery River Wensum this morning. The river has been up in the fields for a couple of weeks, but it's finally settled down and it looks spot on for a bit of chub fishing. So the reason I'm here today, I've got the new Advanta twin tip rod with me. So I'm gonna leapfrog along this stretch and hopefully find a few chub to put this rod through its paces. Well, the tactics today are nice, simple link ledger with either bread flake or cheese paste. And when I fish on the link ledger, I use the carrier section on this twin tip rod, and it comes with three quiver tips, a one ounce, a two ounce, and a three ounce. And personally, I like to use the softest tip when I'm fishing for chub. I think when they pick up that bait, it offers less resistance. When they pull the tip round, they don't feel anything at all, and obviously you get much better bite indication. So the plan for the day, I'll leapfrog along here, probably give it 25 minutes in each lightly looking spot and hopefully we can see that quiver tip pull around a couple of times. This particular rod is an 11 foot rod with a one and a quarter pound test curve that taming these big chub on small rivers like this is perfectly balanced and that is a nice fish that one so quite fast this swim and as you can see it's quite overgrown so the 11 foot comes in handy and I'm going to concentrate and try and get this in because this does look like a good fish. Nice big fish, that one. Come on. Put it in there. There we go. I'll try and take care of him in there, but I've got to climb up a fairly steep bank with him, but I'll be fine. just zeroed the sling. I'm going to pop this one on the scales because he's either going to be a very big four or he might just touch five. But then again, I might embarrass myself by saying that because I haven't done a huge amount of chubbing yet this winter. Let's find out. Well, there we go. Amanda was right. He is, when that wind settles, to be about seven pound in the wind. Blimey, <laughs> he's still. I think he's around five pound four, five pound five. Well, I've always got a bit of a soft spot for fishing on the River Wensum. It was the first place I ever went fishing with my dad and where I caught my first fish. So although the chub numbers are a lot lower than they once were, there's still some cracking chub to be caught if you try hard enough. Off you go, fella. Well, it's great to finally be off the mark and to catch a five pound chub as well as the icing on the cake. And that just proves the importance of keeping on the move. If the chub are in the swim, you normally get a bite quite quickly. And I think this is about the fourth swim that I've fished this morning. So I'm gonna give it a second cast in here. There's a chance there might be another one, but whilst I'm waiting, there's another feature on these rods that I really like, and that's the Minima style guides. And they do two things. They make the rod a lot lighter when you're holding it, and they improve the action when you're casting it. So they make that blank much quicker and it has a quicker recovery when you're casting out. 
So as well as this carrier section with those three quiver tips that I'm using today, there is an Avon type section, which is a one and a quarter pound test curve. That if you're fishing on still waters, is a brilliant rod for big roach, big perch, big cruisians, tench fishing, bream fishing, it ticks lots of boxes. So if you're an all round angler like me, this rod pretty much does it all. This did look an incredibly chubby swim. Got a nice big raft of weed against that tree. And he did a little bit of patience. I've sat here a little while and missed a little nibble. I'm in the second fish of the day. Well, there we go, the second chub of the day. Not quite as big as that first one, but in absolutely perfect condition, this one. So a nice young fish that'll hopefully grow much bigger in the future. And it was an absolute joy to use those rods today. Little rivers like the River Wensum, when you're fishing link ledger under those trees and battling with chub like this, those rods were absolutely perfect. Not to forget the other section, I'll definitely be using those rods for some of my big roach fishing and perch fishing this winter. So if you want to check those rods out, they're available on our website, on the app, or even better still, pop into your local angling direct and have a look for yourselves.